J Drone here. So we're out with the Unique Breeze, and uh, this should be recording in 1080p, 30 frames per second, shooting in 1080p, 29.97 frames per second. Really? Couldn't hook me up with that 0 0.3 to make uh, it totally 30 frames per second. Whatever. So we are flying, and we're doing a range test here if you didn't catch my hat cam. Um, this will be new to you. If you did catch my hat cam, this is the footage from when I was flying recording via my hat cam. So this is the abyss here. Generally, I can fly just about any of my drones that I have to about the center of this, toy grade or not, and we're stuck. We didn't even get to the center. 305, not meters, 305 feet. 305 feet on a GPS drone that originally retailed for $500. I'm stuck at a geofence wall at 305. You can see me. I'm right there. We're not far away. Um, that, I think, is ridiculous. Uh, yes, this does shoot in 4K. I really have no use for 4K. I don't have 4K devices. Occasionally, I'll upload something in 4K for you people that do have 4K devices. Uh, but uh, that that's a huge, huge letdown for me. And I paid under $100. I paid under $100 for, for this, and it's a huge letdown for me. 305 feet. My SEMA X5C can fly further than 305 feet. Um, and as you can see, it's going down. It should be maintaining altitude, and it's actually going down. So we brought it back up. And now it's kind of maintaining altitude. We're just coming in here to get a shot of it. That's kind of, that's kind of how I grab some of my thumbnails. I'll take my hat cam off, put it right in the grill of the drone's mouth. And uh, right here, we're just gonna we're gonna cruise around towards the ground. We're gonna try to make use of this drone in the limited space that it allows me to fly in. Is this a bad drone? No, it's not a bad drone. Um, it is what it is. It was designed to be a selfie drone, a very overpriced selfie drone that shoots in 4K. Is it uh, my cup of tea? No, not really. <laughs> um, would it be my cup of tea if it went past that mark? If it went past 305 feet? Yeah, probably. I can get over the fact that the image stabilization is not great, that it doesn't have anti-roll stabilization, that uh, the, the camera's not completely shooting in 1080p 30 frames per second, even though it's really cool close i can get over that but what i cannot get over is that almost every single toy grade drone that i have can fly further than this every brush drone some drones i put 1999 1999 the dm007 can fly farther than this my my x5c can fly farther than this that's a huge issue for me. Uh, for you, maybe it's not. Maybe maybe you don't need that type of distance. Maybe maybe you're a beginner flyer and this is going to be your cup of tea. They're $200 now. You can find them on Facebook Marketplace for much less. Uh, again, I paid under $100 for mine and I'm disappointed at under $100. But I'm an experienced pilot. So... Maybe you're not an experienced pilot. Maybe you're looking for a drone to fly uh, that's going to be easy to fly just to take shots of you and your friends and maybe cars and maybe a building or whatever. This might be your drone. This drone might have what you need. It, it is packed and enriched with lots of features. It is a full feature drone. It has tons of features. Um, but for me, a GPS drone should be able to go. And this one doesn't. And it was advertised that it doesn't. And I don't care that it was advertised that it doesn't. I got this drone and I didn't do no homework on it. I figured, bam, originally retailed at $500. This is a GPS drone. There's some close to the brush there. Um, it's a GPS drone, has returned to home, has all these features. Hmm. Yeah, dude, I'm going to jump on it for under $100. And I anticipated this to have some distance on it. And again, my toy grades can outfly this. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Again, I'm not completely knocking this. For me, it's not a good drone. Um, for somebody that's starting out, it might be a good drone. If you guys haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. If you want to hit the like, hit the like. If you have any comments down below, type in return. I definitely will get back at you as I have time. Uh, and again, guys, huge disappointment for me. I tell it how it is. I'm not sugarcoating it. It is what it is. And it's definitely not a $500 drone. It's definitely not a $200 drone for me. And I, under $100, I'm disappointed later.